。あきらさんずすし、アットホーム。<笑> Hello everyone, we're gonna make nikiri joyu today. My name is Hiri, navigator on this channel. And on camera is Akira san, who is very busy prepping here at the kitchen. He is a renowned sushi chef in Tokyo, and today he will show us how to make an authentic soy sauce that goes perfectly with sushi and sashimi. That is Nikiri Shoyu. So let me introduce you to the ingredients. This is Honjozo Shoyu, a bottled Honjozo soy sauce. <laughs> This is Mirin, a Japanese sweet rice wine kind of thing. And this, of course, is Japanese famous Kikuma Samure,、uh, Nihon Shu des,、um, Japanese sake. It doesn't have to be Kikuma Samure nor expensive sake, it just has to be dry, crisp in flavor. So now, let me show you the cooking ratio for this recipe. Show you three, meaning one. Japanese sake one, three one one is the way to remember. Easy and simple. We will start pouring one cup of sake here in this recipe because I didn't want to make a lot. I made one cup, three tablespoons. And here, another cup of m i r i n This will be three tablespoons as well. Pour it in. Now we will put three cups of soy sauce. Triple the amount of what you've already put in, so nine tablespoons. Just pour it in like this. Very simple. And here we go. The last cup. Now, put the pot on medium heat, leave it till it boils. So, what does nikiri joyu mean? Nikiri is a technique where you boil off sake and mirin until the alcohol evaporates. Shoyu, of course, is a Japanese word for soy sauce. By adding sake and mirin to soy sauce, it reduces saltiness, which helps to enhance the suspicious flavor. Now we can see the soy sauce boiling. Once it starts boiling, leave it for 10 seconds, then remove from heat. And after that, let it cool down. Once it's ready, prepare an empty clean bottle. Any empty plastic bottle will do, but if you happen to have ones from your used up soy sauce, that would be the best. Now, let's get ready to pour in the soy sauce into your own plastic bottle. Yay! 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 We're done! Yay! If you happen to have a small soy sauce container like this, you can move it in like this and place it on your daily dining table. But it's better to store it in the fridge. You can keep it up until 10 days. The ratio and ingredients can differ depending on restaurants. There are places that use s kombu seaweed and bonito flakes. But by keeping it simple, it can be used not only for sushi, but pretty much for anything. Simple is the best, right? Thank, Thank you, you and arigato. arigato! See you in the next video!